discussing the different parts of an MS Excel 2013 window. The first one, again, is the Quick Access Toolbar, which has the access and the common commands no matter which tab you're in. By default, it has Save, and Do and Repeat. Next one is the Ribbon. It contains all the commands and formatting options that you'll be using in navigating, editing, and making formulas in MS Excel. The command group. Each group contains a series of different commands. Simply click a command to apply it. Some groups also have an arrow in the bottom right corner, which you can click to see even more commands. This is the name box. The name box displays the location or name of a selected cell. If you wanted to go to a particular cell, you can just type in the column letter and the row number in the name box and you will be redirected to the specific cell that you wanted to go to. Next is the formula bar. In the formula bar, you can enter or edit data, a formula, or a function that will appear in a specific cell. Column, also known as the column letters. A column is a group of cells that run from the top of the page to the bottom. In Excel, columns are identified by letters like column H, column A, column B, and so on and so forth. A cell. Each rectangle in a workbook is called a cell. A cell is the intersection of a row and a column. Next is the row. A row is identified by number. A row is a group of cells that runs from the left of the page to the right. Worksheets. Excel files are called workbooks. Each workbook holds one or more worksheets, also known as spreadsheets. Worksheet view option. Just like the Microsoft Word 2013, Excel also have worksheet view options. The three main view options that we have in Excel were normal view, page layout view, and page break view. Next is the zoom control. Click and drag the slider to use the zoom control. The number of the right of the slider reflects the zoom percentage. And lastly, we have the vertical and horizontal scroll bars. Your spreadsheet may frequently have more data than you can see on the screen at once. Click, hold, and drag the vertical or horizontal scroll bar depending on what part of the page you want to see.